Welcome once again to Straight Talk with Mr. Daly, episode two. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you missed episode one, it can be summarized with today's uh, fathead from the game. If you missed it, this pretty much does the job for you. Put your hat and sweater in your locker and keep it there. It's for your safety. Uh, we will be selling this to the highest bidder, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people wanting this. I know my wife has got her eye on it. Um, seriously, I want to thank everybody for the Best Buddies basketball game, but that's not what I'm here for. I do want to um, talk about what we're talking about on this little episode every period five for a week or so. Just some of the really key things that we're expected to do here at St. Thomas More as students that maybe you've forgotten or never been told, frankly, because we weren't able to do grade level meetings at the beginning of the year. And we just got to correct some things here so that we can run a more efficient operation. And honestly, in the end, it's better for you as students if the school's running well, <clears throat> it affects your achievement. And today's topic is about uh, being on time in the morning routine. Um, so we, as you know, we started 810 here at St. Thomas More, and that was a change from last year. But if you're new to the school or you're starting to notice it, there's a lot of traffic in our school around 8.05. And so even though we may ring in the bell at 8.10, you really should plan to arrive prior to 8 o'clock to avoid that morning rush and for you to get to your classes on time. Now, when you get here and you're in the hallway at 8.05, again, this is a routine that maybe uh, not everybody's aware of. When you hear the music, the music means it's time to move. You need to get to class. Uh, you sure you're supposed to be in your class at 810 where you get the national anthem and the land acknowledgement and the prayer that should not be experienced in the hallway walking if you happen to get caught in the hallway you need to stop for those things we do permit you to walk through announcements but for obvious reasons the national anthem the land acknowledgement the prayer is something we have to stop for i do want to just say please like in general don't wait for the last of your friends to go to class. Like if one person is late, it shouldn't affect three others while we wait for the latest person to get to class. It's just not a good way to do it. And when I talk about lates, you know, I, I, I was a vice principal for a long time and I always uh, interviewed a lot of kids with lates. The question I used to, used to put to them often was, well, what if I gave you $5 to be on time tomorrow? I want you to think about that. What if Mr. Daly walked around the school tomorrow and if you were in class on time, I walked out and gave you a crisp $5 bill. What would you do? Well, there's 1,950 students. I don't have 10 grand lying around my, my basement. So I'm not coming in with $5 for each one of you. But whatever the answer was to what would you do for that $5, you should do tomorrow. You should do on Tuesday. You should do every day. Because every five minutes, 10 minutes that you're late, becomes 10 or 15 minutes where you're waiting to go and get into mid slip, the 10 or 15 minutes of the most important time, the instructional time of your day, and it affects you. It affects your achievement. So it's not, you're gonna get paid a lot more than $5 by coming to school on time and being in your class on time. It makes for a more positive experience with your teachers. It, makes, it allows your teachers to use their instructional time the way they planned it very hard to be a teacher nowadays when you're not sure when you can begin the key points of the lesson and you're in, caught in this quandary where should I start without some of my class should I wait for them to come and by waiting for them to come it creates a culture where people think being on time is optional when something's important you arrive early and nothing can be more important for you as a student than your education and I'm asking you to arrive early before eight o'clock Make your way in, be social. When you hear that music in the hallway, it's time to start moving to your class. Now the rest of the day is simple. Take your books for period one and period two to your first class. So you can go straight from period one to period two. If you have period three lunch, take your lunch. You can't be going to your locker, and up to your locker in between every period. And all, these things like, you might say, well, this is crazy. This is actually the way it is. And again, it's been a long time since we've had regular school, so I'm hoping that this little segment here, my little shtick, uh, gets you to realize that this is the experience you need. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, students, go on time for a week, it'll become your habit. You'll be amazed how much more of a positive experience you're having in your classes with your teachers. You can socialize with your classmates if you're there a couple minutes early. 
And finally, um, during the school day, I really don't think there's any excuse for lates. And the definition of late is you're not in your class when that bell rings. It's very simple. Okay, finally, it is Holy Thursday, and I want to end on a positive. Uh, number one, if you need any rapid antigen tests, and you may or may not know whether you need them, you might be getting together with family, please, we have lots of them, make your way to the office and pick up a box. We're happy to distribute them to you, and it'll probably make your Easter a little more, you know, easy to take. You won't be as stressed about it if people take a test. Uh, I wish you all a happy and blessed Easter weekend. I hope you have a wonderful long weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday for another episode of Straight Talk with Mr. Daly. Have a great day.